Brandon. So Luke, give us a, you know, take us back a year ago when, mm -hmm. when we first met. We were talking about installing solar uh, at no cost to you, but you know, the electricity that you would buy from these solar panels is discounted and then you ratchet it up every year. What, what was your thought process from the beginning? Then you met with a school board and then you went, you moved forward with it. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, several of our initiatives at the time were obviously cost control as well as being responsible uh, members of the community where we're looking out for everybody's best interest. You know, the solar, the renewable energy resources were a major component of that. Um, the way we had gotten to your company was through the State Department of Education that uh, the director, a gentleman named David Wedge, right. uh, had put out a broadcast email the better part of two years ago now saying that you guys were looking at right. potential properties, uh, a good match for where the solar capabilities you had, and had a way to provide a win win situation for school districts. Right. You know, and certainly for us, when you contacted us in response to my inquiry and said, you know, we have a school that we think works. The condition of the building was good enough on the roof with the right sun lines and everything else where we could have a vital, you know, uh, relationship that started with us. Yeah. You know, and certainly as we looked at uh, how much we could get out of it, this school was our most expensive per kilowatt right. to run. What is it, 19 cents? It was like 21. 21 cents. cents. Like, the one cents kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. That's net of the demand charges. Right. And stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If you just look, equate everything just down to the uh, KWH, this is the most expensive one we're running. Sure. And being able to offload some of this, where even if it runs the building on weekends for us, um, and uh, being able to make a, you know, a decent uh, budget improvement for us, where we can redirect those resources into the classroom. Yeah. You know, we get the good stewardship of the environment. Yeah. And you know the community has something they really can be proud of as far as being a leader out there, uh, you know, in this particular type of endeavor. Yeah. And how 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 is your how do you think the experience will be for both the teachers, the students? Which teachers do you think will will take advantage of it? Will it be geometry teachers, math teachers? Well, we anticipate that at this school, uh, particularly the general science teachers here, are really interested and excited about what this can offer. Yeah. And certainly having the web capabilities, being able to check production, being able to uh, see the impact of the system running, even though you can't help them hear exactly what's right. being generated, right. uh, but there will be a genuine uh, interest in the results of what this provides for the kids here. Yeah. In addition, we're expecting our high school physics program to tag along on the website and start building in elements of the solar and uh, electrical uh -huh. uh, skills into their curriculum as time goes great. on. Great, that's great. And will you will you be able to give tours physically? Uh, it, it, I'm not really sure about it, that. You I'd say because everything comes up <laughs> through uh, either uh, vertical hatches or we're on the ladders here. And yeah. Even though I feel, still feel young enough to climb ladders, <laughs> yeah. some of our others may not quite feel as uh, frisky as I I guess do. you could have like maybe a permanent video camera or right. something Right, well we had like done that. Uh, there is a camera over on the other side. Right. We had temporarily uh -huh. redirected a uh, one of our security cameras oh. up here. But yeah. by the time they got it operational, you guys were really done with the layout. So uh -huh. we never really got any benefit of it. I but, see. Uh, we certainly are considering putting a permanent camera mount up here to, to just panning and great, great. seeing the system uh, in action. Where they could, and they were talking about doing it where you'd have a little uh, button on the school website where you could go see the solar system. Yeah. Or the solar panel system. Now, if it were, one of the things, Brett and I came and Brett noticed that you couldn't see the panels from the street. Mm -hmm. If it were up to you, would you would you want to be able to see the panel from the street? Uh, <laughs> probably not, because one of our big things is you know, the uh, integrity of everything we have. So yeah. if we you know, advertise an attractive nuisance or things of interest for the kids to let's go climb on the roof and see what's going on over <laughs> right, here. Right. We have to be sensitive to those elements there. So sure. Having the low profile uh, equipment is kind of out of sight, out of right. mind, but it's working to its maximum efficiency. Right. And you know, by and large, it will you know, allow the system to not ever get any vandalism. Right. You know, if the kids swoon around up here, if they spray paint them or whatever right. they might do to it. Well, uh, one of the first things you asked Stephen Strong with solar design is, are you going to put holes in my roof? Correct. 
And, and you, you the see, answer is no. As the answer is no, as you can see here, these are ballasted by literally bricks at the right, and they're tied behind. to each other. So exactly the strength of the whole grid is what gives it the uh, stability and no ability for the wind to right. blow a piece off. Right. And the reason why I know that is right. Bruce over there who right. organized this whole construction piece. Right. And this one is tied in, as far as I know, where uh, each of the three fields is tied to each other and then it goes down off the front of the building. So there's no roof penetrations whatsoever associated with the project. Yeah, yeah. Not, now not to make this <laughs> too much of an infomercial, but can you tell us about your experience with Stephen Strong, Solar Design, Bruce, and everything? So your company has been just terrific on uh, working with us. Uh, the demonstrated knowledge you have of the product technical elements, the ability to work with our local utility, CLNP, yeah. where they're really looking to you guys as being the real experts. Right. And, you know, uh, the, work, the rapport that uh, was established with our own building staff here, where, you know, every commitment made was kept, uh, the time frame, the uh, keeping out of the way of school operations. Uh, just made this a perfect project. Great. Great. Well, I'm so glad it worked out. Okay, I am yeah. too. Thanks. Very good.